guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching, I bit my tongue right there. I'm going to be teaching you how to um, get this Victoria's Secret fashion show look from their 2010 fashion show, which is this year. Um, and this year the makeup artist said that he wanted to go with a more California girl French twist kind of makeup look and I think by that he meant like the makeup was very laid back and very natural looking and sun kissed um, but I think the French twist was like the red lip so um, yeah it's very very natural and it's very easy there's not even um, eyeshadow on the eyelid they didn't put any eyeshadow on the eyelid I'm using the exact same products they used on the models everything's exactly the same except for the lipstick I couldn't find the lipstick I went to three different Victoria's Secrets looking for their lipstick and icon could not find it all I know is that it's a velvety red matte lipstick and then um, I didn't use the same eyeliners or mascara or thick eyelashes I mean and that's not a big deal so you'll see how to do it all it's exactly the same as the models there's lots of tips and tricks um, in this video that I learned from the way they did their makeup so I hope you enjoy it. Hope you like my t-shirt. Rebecca got it for me, my sister. She went to Victoria's Secret and if you spend $60 or more, they give you one of these for free. And um, she, she bought like some Chicago Bears hoodie and um, perfumes and she's like, Hey Bethany, I was like, oh my gosh, I love you for a moment. No. So I love her all the time. Just sometimes she's very annoying. When she's listening to her iPod like really loud and you're like, Becca, Becca. No, so anyways, I am going to let you go. Hope you enjoy, and it's a long video, but that's because I'm being very detailed in it. So, hope you enjoy. Bye bye. Here, bye. Here. bye. Once you've exfoliated, I know this is going to sound weird, but you're going to want to make sure you have no unnecessary hair on your face. So, if you have a little mustache going on or some hair between your eyebrows, you're you're not you don't want that. Victoria's Secret models do not have like hairy faces. So what I like to use if I'm getting like a little mustache or hair in between my eyebrow is this finishing, finishing, finishing touch. This is what I like to use, you guys. No, finishing touch um, hair remover. And it just looks like this. You don't feel a thing and you just use it right where any hair is growing in between your forehead, wherever. Just get rid of unnecessary hair. The other thing you're going to want to keep in mind is your nose hair. Um, you might want to get rid of that as well. Like, if you get rid of your nose hair because you've got, like, long nose hair, especially, like, me, pff, for some reason, the hair on my face just grows, like, all the time. So, nose hair, if you get a nose clipper or one of those nose trimmers that looks... It's kind of like this, but it's rounded out and you put it in your nose. It'll get rid of it, and it just really makes your nose look more perkier and just... It looks better. It really does. So... You might want to keep that in mind when trying to achieve your Victoria's Secret face. Once you got rid of all the hair, the unnecessary hair on your face, um, you are now ready to moisturize. So I'm just using Cetaphil and you're going to want to put this on before you apply your foundation because this is really just going to help your foundation come like glide on much more smoothly and help it last a bit longer and just help give you more of a healthy look. So you're going to want to apply that. As usual, the first thing you're going to want to do is apply an eyeshadow base and you're just putting that all over your eyelid, around your tear duct, and along the lower lash line. And this is going to help your eyeshadow last longer and pop out more and be more vibrant. You're going to want to get like a lighter bronzed color and that's just what it is, like a bronze, light bronze color. And you're going to be applying that just right into your crease. right right I mean seriously right into your crease so using the color that's the most bronze in that palette I'm taking a fluffy brush tapping off the excess eyeshadow that is on top of the brush you really do not need a lot and I'm just using it to blend out the crease color toward my brow bone because you want to soften up the edge. You're just blending it out. You don't want to take it all the way up towards your brow bone, but you do just want to blend out the harsh line. Next, get a white eyeliner pencil. I'm using from Urban Decay their um, eyeliner in Yeo. Yeo, whatever. And you are going to put that in your waterline. Usually, I don't like showing this part because it's kind of gross, but I'm going to show it now because I have to show you guys something. 
You're going to bring this color out right under your tear duct. Just use it to line the lower part of your eyelid, just like this. Then use your finger to blend it out. From Victoria's Secret, their eyeshadow quad and sultry, you're going to take the golden color and then you're going to take their shimmer shadow and this one's called Gold Dust. Put that on the back of your hand. I don't want to take too much. And you're going to mix the two together. So I have some of the sultry eyeshadow on this brush. Then I'm mixing it in with the Gold Dust eyeshadow. And you are just going to apply that right across your lower lash line. Right in the inner part of your lower lash line, you just want the gold dust eyeshadow shimmer to just really pop out. Just want it to be like, wham bam, thank you ma'am. What you're going to do is you are just going to be applying this to your eyebrow. And this is just going to help give you a really pretty nice glow, you see, when you move. You see, look at that, look at that pretty glow. So you're just applying this to your eyebrow. Just like this and then you're going to be using that as your brow bone highlight so right below your eyebrow where your brow bone is you're applying it there and it's really easy to tell where your brow bone is I mean it's that hard bone you feel right below your brow and then just kind of use your finger to blend it all out I get a black eyeliner pencil and you're going to be using this to line your lash line and you want to line really really close and you don't want to use a liquid liner you want the look to be soft not harsh so use an eyeliner pencil and just really really close near your lash line apply the eyeliner As usual for a Victoria's Secret look, you're going to want nice, long, full eyelashes. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm going to be applying fake eyelashes as well. But if you plan on, you know, skipping the fake eyelashes, really try to get your hand on an eyelash curler. So you just put that as close to your lashes as possible. And then do about three squeezes at the base. And then three in the middle. And if you can, three at the top. Depending on how you know long your eyelashes are, this would be easier for you, but. Next I'm applying Victoria's Secret Mascara to my eye lashes. And this is like L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Like it seriously is like the same thing. Except this one is a bit more lengthening. After the first coat of mascara has dried, you're gonna apply another coat. And you're just going to do this three times, three different coats, but you want to make sure that the mascara dries before applying another coat, otherwise it's going to really clump up your eyelashes. Now we're moving on to the fake eyelashes. The way they did the girls' eyelashes this year is they took a full strip of eyelashes like this, but they cut it up into like little pieces and they put it on individually. That way it was kind of like having individual lashes but it still gives the effect of a full strip and it looks more natural that way. So just take your fake eyelashes. Um, I think these are the 112s from Mardell. I forgot the number. I'm going to have to look it up for you. You see they're nice, full. They got these little parts that are sparse and then you got these little parts that are like really full. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut about I'm going to say two of the fuller area, so like that. I cut like that. I'm going to dip it into my eyelash glue. Just like this. And for somebody who has a hard time applying fake eyelashes by the strip, this will be easier for you. And you can use a tweezer to hold the eyelash, but I'm not going to because for me it's easier to use my fingers. It's only easier for me to use a tweezer if I'm doing somebody else's um, eyelashes, but for me, doing my own, it's easier for me to hold the eyelash. Hold your eyelash, take a mirror, look down into that mirror, 
and you want to get the eyelash as close to your lash line as possible without you know gluing the actual eyelash fake eyelash onto your real eyelashes so just like that Go back with your black eyeliner and right in the tight line, that's the area right below your eyelashes, you're going to apply the black eyeliner. You want to make sure you do this so that no skin is showing, like no skin whatsoever is showing in this area near your eyelashes. So. So we're done with the eyes. You see they're just very soft, very nice. And now we're going to be moving on to the face. You're going to want to use a face primer and what our foundation primer and face primer to, to prime your face before you put on your real face. I'm going to be taking a foundation primer. I'm using Victoria's Secret um, Pro Airbrush FX Face Primer. It has SPF 20 in it. Take in a bit and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And this is really good if you have dry skin like me, um, just using a face primer in general so that, you know, when you apply your foundation, it doesn't give that little flaky look, like crusty, you know, dry skin. So it's nice to have this primer on. So just apply that all over your face or anywhere, you know, you're going to be applying your foundation. You're going to want to apply a foundation with a luminous or dewy finish to it, so it's one that contains a shimmer and you're just going to apply that all over your face. The reason I say that you need one that contains like a shimmer, has a luminous finish, is because first of all, the Victoria's Secret one is like that and that's the kind that they apply on the models a lot, um, ones that contain a shimmer because this, that's what helps give them that very like healthy glow. So you're just going to want one that contains a shimmer and has a luminous finish. Make sure you blend it out towards your ear and neck as well, your foundation, so you know you don't have any miscolored spots. Victoria's Secret foundation is not full coverage, so if you want full coverage, I wouldn't uh, suggest buying that. But because my skin, I don't really have too much imperfections in my skin, you know, it's fine for me, but yeah. So after that, if you have any areas on your face that need to be concealed, go ahead and conceal them. Me, I don't really have any areas that need to be concealed. Um, but no matter who you are, you're going to want to conceal the shadows around your nose and around your mouth. And for me, I don't have dark circles, but what I do have are bags. So the way that you can kind to uh, kind of conceal it is take a foundation that is a couple shades lighter than your natural skin tone. And right where the bag is, below it, around the shadow, right under like this. Apply the concealer and then blend it out towards your nose, just like this. And what this does is it plays a trick, basically, on the eye. You see, it helped more than what it uh, looked like before. And then again, I'm taking the same foundation, I'm just or concealer, I'm just using it around my nose to conceal the shadows around my nose, and then around my lip, just to conceal the shadows around my lip. Now you're going to want to take a bronzer that contains a shimmer. I'm using from Victoria's Secret their bronzer and goddess. This is exactly what they used on the models. You're just going to be applying that to the apples of your cheek and then blending it out toward your temple. You don't need a lot, just very lightly. Blend it into your hairline. Now go back with a fluffy blending brush and what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, eye contact eyeshadow quad from Victoria's Secret again and what you are going to be doing is you're going to be taking more of the bronze colored eyeshadow and along your cheekbone you are going to just blend this eyeshadow in just like this Bring it down the bridge of your nose and you know what this is doing? It's helping you get that like look like when you wear sunglasses out in the sun and then you kind of tan and you get like that burnt spots around here. That's what it's doing is giving you more of a beach bomb um, sun-kissed look like actual sun-kissed 
looking skin beside I just put the bronzer no this is just helping you achieve it to a new degree it's, it looks very cute like seriously try it out just blend it like I said across your cheekbone down the bridge of your nose so that will answer some of your guys questions about like was it just bronzer that they had on top of the eyes and stuff as well it wasn't it was just the eyeshadow quad in their eyes and then they used it along the cheekbones and that's why the color in the crease and the color on the cheeks look so similar to each other then you're gonna go back with that lip gloss and you are actually just going to dot that right where your cheekbone is near your eye just in this area you're just basically doing it in a C motion so like from where your eyebrow is down there you don't want to bring it all the way down especially if you have bags like me you don't want to do that because again you're just gonna be highlighting your bags but you're just doing it like in a C motion like this I don't know if you can see that and then you blend it out and when you're blending it out just tap it don't smear it because if you smear it you're gonna kinda make the bronzer and stuff look very muddy you just wanna tap it and you see that nice little glow that it gives me that's what you're doing again if you don't believe me do the research that's all you have to do do the research yourself because this is exactly what they did on the models So just like that. So now we are done with the face and now we're gonna be moving on to the lips. So anyways, for the lips, oh, I love the way they did the lips. Like, though this year though wasn't the most vava voomy in terms, you know, and I keep saying vava voomy, okay, the most vava voom in terms of like makeup wise for Victoria's Secret. Um, it had a little bit more like tips and tricks kind of a thing, like with the gloss and then um, just not even using the color on the lid and then the way they did the eyelashes and the lips. I like the way they did the lips as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a nice rich brown um, lip liner pencil and right in the center of your lips you're going to be applying this and this is going to help give you a nice plumpy looking lip. It's just a, it's a very nice trick to do which, and I really like this lip liner. Like I wouldn't think I would like brown lip liner so much but I really really love this lip liner. Just apply that to the center of your lips. It's like So now that I have that in the center of my lips and I use my finger to blend it out, you're going to want to take their lipstick in Icon and you're going to put that right around the area where you put the brown and then just blend that in again. But the thing is, I went to three different Victoria's Secret stores and I couldn't find the color. I just couldn't find the color. All I know is that it's a matte red lipstick. So I don't own any matte red lipsticks. I really don't. The closest I get to a matte red lipstick thing would be my lip liner from NYX and it's called Auburn but it's not very red. So I'm going to do something that might be slightly weird. I'm going to be using my theatrical makeup, the blood um, makeup and I'm just going to use my finger to apply it and this is going to give me like the stain that the girls had and it's matte and it's going to give it that velvety finish. And in my opinion, it looks just like it. That's what's funny. It looks just like it. Once you got your lipstick on, you just put on the lip gloss. And the lip gloss that they used was their Mineral Lip Gloss in Naughty. Let me make sure. Yep, Naughty. And just put that right over your lips. 